Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Pompey Nick Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Lost Dimension. It's by Fury U Corporation and Ghostlight, and it released on October 30th of 2017. And this came my way. I was pretty excited. I was like, oh, this looks cool. I was going to do a first look video, as is supposed to be the norm moving forward. But I decided to give it a shot, which I don't always do before I play a game. I decided I'll give it a shot. I've got some time while I'm doing some rendering and uploading, and I really like it. It's It's interesting. So, yeah, we're going to play it. It's going to be fun. Hopefully you guys like it. So, let's just hop in and begin. Alright, I believe there's an opening video. There is. Enjoy. The world now faces total destruction. How could a single person do all this? The attacks are simultaneous? Reported casualties at two billion and climbing. There's an incoming transmission from that man. I am the agent of the apocalypse. My name is the end. This destruction is but a prelude. More will come. True destruction is about to begin. Thirteen days from now, everything in this world will come to an end. If you want to continue your worthless lives, try and stop me. Try and kill me. I'll be waiting. Thirteen days from now? It's over, isn't it? The world's coming to an end! We need to deploy the troops at once. We have to stop that madman at any cost. Assemble each nation's finest and infiltrate that tower. This is our final hour. It may be time to send in the gifted. Maybe with their powers, they can do the impossible. The world's fate is in their hands. I sort of want to hear, Di -di 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 -di. you know, X-Men now. It seems like it would fit. It would. It would. Alright. The first floor. Destroyed city. I'm pretty excited, guys and gals. Like, I played it. I really like it. I don't know if anybody else is going to really like it, but hopefully you guys will like it, too. Alright, so there's a combination of voice acting and stuff that I'll read, but we'll auto through the regular stuff, and then I'll read the other things. It'll be fine. Where is this? My head. What? This is... Right, I remember now. I came here to fight. Oh yes, there will be blood. I don't, I don't know if there'll be blood. There might be blood. There's probably going to be some blood. But for now, not yet. Alright, welcome to the player phase. There's three, four, five others in similar uniforms. I doubt we'll confuse them with the enemy. Alright, commencing attack. I should close in on the enemy so they're in range of my gun. Alright, movement. Movement range is displayed as a circle centered on the unit being controlled. Use your left analog stick to move around within uh, the range shown. By the way, I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller emulating an Xbox 360 controller, just so you know what I'm using. It does work fantastically well with the game, so it does have controller support, just in case you want to know. Also, look at the size of this cursor. <laughs> it's, it's comically large. It's fine. Anyway, sorry, I, I just figured I'd have to share that with you. When the unit moves from their starting point, the range of movement will gradually contract behind the unit. Press the B button to redo movement from the starting point. Attack! If the enemy blinks blue while your unit is moving, the enemy is within attack range. Press the A button to open the menu and select Attack to strike. Accuracy and damage vary based on, based on range. Alright, counterattack. If counter appears on the enemy, they will counter your attack after. Or after you attack, uh, unless you are outside of the enemy range or use certain special attacks. Let's go. That makes sense. Alright, so we can move around with our camera view with the right analog stick. 
And you notice there's a guy over here. There's a, a guy over here, probably a guy. Probably a guy. A girl over here, a dude over there, another girl over there. So those are the various units that are around us. I'm gonna reset my movement. So if I start heading off in this direction, I don't think I can backtrack beyond the halfway mark. So you have to be careful with your movement to a degree. And there we are. I get to, oh, I was gonna get to like minimum, it's fine, let's just man up and go in there. Also take a note, a note over here on the right hand side. This is our little mini-map or our radar, so there's an enemy over there, an enemy over there, an enemy over there, and the guy right in front of us. So those two little floaty robot bee-looking things are an enemy, and the other one over there is also an enemy. Just so you know. Alright, he will counter us, but we will attack him in the face. Alright, it was more like the chest or the shoulder. He retaliated with 36 damage. Then we have our San and Daze. San indicates sanity, or a character's mental resilience. Sanity will deplete when hit by an attack. This applies to both allies and to enemies. Dazed. An enemy will become dazed when their sanity reaches zero. Not sure where the... Hold on. Does it show us where the sanity is? I'm assuming the sanity is the underbar, right? Because the green bar is their HP, so the one underneath it is... Alright, that's fine. An enemy will become dazed when their sanity reaches zero. Dazed will render the enemy unable to act, and their stats will be greatly reduced for one turn. This is your chance to deal extreme damage, so be sure to seize the opportunity. Dazed daze will naturally recover after one turn. Cool. Alright, my memories are still a bit hazy, but my body's moving just fine. Hmm. Oh, did we wake you? Guys, keep your guard up. It won't go down that easy. Maybe with my fire I can finish it off. Using gifts. Each unit of your team has their own individual special abilities or gifts. Or gifts. It's fine. Using gifts requires eight or GP and sanity. Gift points and sanity. Gifts. Gift. I, that's a, just one of those words that sucks to say. Anyway, because you're almost saying gifts. 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 It's fine. All right, so fire, fire in 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 his face, I guess. Um, I can do it from here. I don't. Oh yeah, this is actually cool. Check it out. Say you're like, I'm just gonna use a gift. You can go ahead and get this, and then you can hold the X button and still move closer, so you move within range. And there it is. And yes, he's gonna shoot us back, but we're gonna burn him. Pretty impressive damage there. Not bad. What? She just created fire out of nowhere? Do you remember? We have these gifts that we use to fight against terrorists. They sent us in here, a task force to handle the situation. Or they sent us here in a task force, okay. Then again, we were sent in different teams, so I don't know who's from which one. I don't recognize anyone's faces. So we all have a gift like yours? Ugh, there's something in my head. It's like I can see some image. Using a gift can be a draining on our bodies, so try and keep aware of that. Hey, more importantly, you look like you're hurt from their counterattack. Hold still and I'll come and help you. Alright, using items. Your inventory of consumable items is shared amongst all units, and anyone can use them. A character can use an item if there is a target for the item's effect in range. Cool. Are you ready? Are you ready? You tell them, Gorge. George. I, I know it's George. Alright, we're gonna go with item. We're gonna go with health capsule. And we're gonna oh. heal him up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, I owe you one. <laughs> no problem. I'm just doing my duty to uphold justice. <laughs> you don't need healing after every little scratch you get. Sorry, uh, I wish I could have been more useful. Am you're hopeless. Sit tight and I'll give you some of my gift. Maybe that'll help move things along. You can give me your gift? Eh. Yeah. Now wait there. Alright, now we can use Defer. That's right. The Fur. No, Defer. By using Defer on a unit that has already acted for the turn, you can grant them the ability to act again. All units can use this ability once per turn. The unit initiating Defer spends sanity to use it. Defer can be used even after moving, so use it well to gain an advantage in combat. Cool. I'll tear him apart! I'll tear him apart! Hey, hey, hey! It's fine. 
All right, we're gonna go and defer ourselves to good old show. Here. Leave it to me. Get him, show. Damn. Huh? What the? My body is. There's power rushing into me. <laughs> we gave you a portion of my gift. We can all do it. It's called deferring. It'll tax your mind, but using it once or twice shouldn't be a problem. Don't forget to try it out. Let's go. Oh, I see. I can keep moving with the power you just gave me. All right, that blue one is going down for sure. Is he? Is he going down for sure? All right, rat tat bang. Not enough. Oh, but we got the assist. What? Takes care of that. Sweet. Thank goodness. I appreciate the help. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. The target's in range. I'll assist an ally's attack unless it's someone I don't like. Oh, that sounds good to me. I guess I should try to attack when my allies are nearby. <laughs> you seem to be getting the swing of things. Why don't we finish these buggers off? Assist. When selecting a target to attack, an assist attack icon will occur if there's an ally nearby the fray with assist displayed above them. Or an assist attack will occur on an icon. I don't know why I'm saying icon. It's fine, guys and gals. Because it's iconic. No. So essentially, if you go to attack and you have nearby allies, if they're within range and able to, and they like you, and all the, the you know conditions are met, they will assist you in combat, and that's a good way to chain together a bunch of attacks. And I like that. I like that a lot. Assist attacks may not occur if the unit does not, if the units do not trust each other. Unit enemy units also use assist attacks, so be wary of groups. I can well. sometimes read, folks. I promise you, it's a thing I can occasionally or semi-occasionally do. Can I make it to you? Nope. Hmm. All right, let's defer you. Too damn easy. Can we get you in range? Oh yeah. You will counter us. I'm okay with that. Ew. Here I go. <clears throat> Look at her backpack. Look at her backpack. That's hilarious. What is that? Is it like the world's oldest discman? Is that even a thing anymore? Anyway, let's punch this guy in the head. Actually, if we can attack from behind, I believe there's back attacks. So we're going to go for it. Back attack, 134. With the assist. I make this shit look easy. He makes this stuff look easy. He is quite amazing. Here comes the enemy. I don't think they can close with us though, so that gives us an advantage here. I was wrong. Ow. But he done got shot back. So, you know, there's that. Okay, well, I don't want to use Shoei Moe just yet. So let's move let's him back. Um, maybe not her. Yeah, I think I'll move this guy in. Mind's eye. All right, let's do that. Okay. Be gone. Oh wow, we just annihilated him. I actually don't know what Mind's Eye did. I'm sorry. I glanced at it and I just didn't read it. And I apologize for that, folks. All right, let's go here. We'll attack. We have two assists. Sure. One. Two. And three. And that's it. That's all we need. Mission cleared. Yeah. Is that all of them? I guess that was the welcoming committee. Still, I never expected the inside of the pillar would look like this. It's like it ate an entire city. I can hardly believe it. Well. Eh, we should assess our situation. First and foremost, I'm worried about the group that went on inside while we were fighting. You serious? Wait. Are you serious? I didn't see anyone. Then... Well, I guess we should check inside. Let's make first contact before they get the drop on us. You're right. Agreed. All right, I'm opening the door. Okay. Well, hello. There are others? So you have five, huh? Us six and you five. That makes eleven of us in total. That's great. We can play soccer with that many people. Yeah, nice. That's supposed to be a joke. Simple we're all wearing similar uniforms. In other words, that means we're 
If it isn't the eleven psychics. Welcome to the pillar. That voice. I know who he is. So you're the end. You've come looking for me, no? I must greet you. What the? Why is he glaring at me with such hate in his eyes? It seems you at least remember who I am. Of course we do. We came here to kill you, after all. Or did you tamper with our memories, thinking we'd forget all that, too? Tampered with our memories? Are you implying he's the reason why we don't remember how we got here? Kind of makes sense. That would seem a logical conclusion. Why have you done this? It doesn't matter why. He's an enemy we have to defeat. That's all we need to know. It's fair. Uh, just what I'd expect from Sealed. You lapdogs are so entertaining to watch. Thank you. What did you say? You messing with us? You needn't call us dogs. You're right beastly. Yes. <laughs> you are still not enough. The situation is more dire than you could imagine. I believe you are all forgetting one very important item. What's that? I important? What do you mean? There is a time limit. I completed launch preparations, and I now have a nuclear warhead aimed at every major city in the world. Seems bad. And I just press the switch. What? That's a load of bull! The warheads will launch 13 days from now. That is your deadline. And the only way to stop them is for you to come and kill me. The UN seems to think you're up to the task. Huh. That's why they assembled Sealed. To come in here and stop me. Jeez, you scared me! Huh. <sighs> so guns have no effect on him. None of you can lay a finger on me. I exist on a whole other plane. News team if assemble! You, wish to kill me, you will need to climb this tower. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the top of the pillar. Sweet. So if you want to save the world, I suggest you work together and start your ascent. Sweet. Oh, but wait. Yes? Did I mention there's a traitor among you? Nope. We would have remembered that. What? Are you trying to scare us? You're not very good at bluffing. All will be clear soon enough. If you want to climb higher, you will have to sacrifice one of your own. Eh, not necessarily. Spouting nonsense and then he disappears? Screw that guy! Yeah. Do you think it's true about there being a traitor? <laughs> That's obviously a lie. How could a member of Sealed, upholder of justice, ever take the side of evil? This guy's great. It'd be good if that's the case. Alright, the story mm -hmm. thus far. This room is pretty spacious, huh? I wonder what it's mm -hmm. used for. It's quite a contrast to the urban area from earlier. It also seems as though the enemy hasn't tried forcing an entry here. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's that huge machine? Hmm, I, I wonder. It's probably safe to assume that the N prepared this room for us ahead of time. He knew someone would enter the tower. Damn it. What does the end want? You don't think that he'd... Yes. Well, seems to me like he orchestrated this entire scenario. Now he's just sitting back and enjoying the show. That's why he appeared earlier. Oh. But what about the, the traitor? But... Look, dwelling on that isn't going to help us. Let's set up our base of operations here and use this room to prepare for the battle. We can assess our situation from here. After losing our memories, I'd say we're all a bit confused. I don't disagree. I should talk to each of the others before we begin investigating the pillar. Alright, after battle, sealed members return to the lobby, which is this area here. There you can change equipment, learn gifts, and, well, otherwise prepare for battle. Anyway, ladies and a gentlemen, that's actually the cursor for, that's, that's cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go a little bit more in, but, um, 
I'm just curious. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the game so far. Are you intrigued? Does it look cool? Like, I feel like it's kind of a mix between... Oh, I don't know. Um... Gosh, I can't think of the other part. But it reminds me a lot of the, like, Hyper Dimension Neptunia games. And a lot of the Idea Factory games like that, where you have, like... It's not grid-based, turn-based combat, but it's like free movement, so you have a certain area that you can move in, and then after that you have an attack or multiple attacks that you can do. Except here, you're not stuck on like, oh, the enemy is a couple feet away from you. Like here it's more tactical, you have a larger squad, obviously, and like the battle areas seem to be a bit larger. Now, I've only played through this and the next battle, and that's as far as I got, and I'm like, Oh yeah, no, we're, we're definitely covering this. So I, I'm a really big fan of what I've seen so far. I'm just curious as to your thoughts thus far. Is it too early to tell? Are you intrigued? Does it look interesting? Is it something that you guys want to grab? Do you want to see more of it? Let me know. Let me know down below in the comment section. All right, let's go to the talk area. All right, and they're going to tell us about talking to characters. Important conversations that occur after becoming closer with someone is in the gold chat bubble with, I guess, like two hands interlocking, I guess is what that's supposed to signify. Normal conversations with someone to become closer to them. And a normal conversation. Alright, talking to the or to the characters. You can speak with the members of Sealed by selecting talk. Anyone that has something to talk to you about will have a speech bubble next to them. The two people that you talk to first will have their trust levels increased. As you raise trust levels, special conversations will be unlocked, so remember to stop and talk when you can. All right, so basically we have to figure out exactly who we want. I, I don't know how important this is early on in the game. It seems like it's a pretty important function of the game, but we have to figure out who we're going to want as our primary people. I think I'm going to go with her because she is a frontline melee combatant, and I do want one of them. And I also considered her, and this guy's a healer, so I feel like getting him on our side early on would be pretty good too, but I, I'm not sure. Either way, we're going to end up talking to all of them. I I just, I don't know. I guess we'll go with Mana Ka Kawai, I guess. Ka Kawai, 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 I got nothing. Uh, so, like, Kai, is, isn't that K-A-I? So, why? So, it would be Kawai? Sure. Mana Kawai. Why not? I'm going to butcher names and things, just so you guys know. It's kind of indicative of what I do. So, just be aware. Just be aware. She sighed. Um, mana, right? Something the matter? It's mana. It's fine, whatever. It's just that, well, unlike everybody else's abilities, mine is so, well, uncharming. That thing from earlier? Mm -hmm. That's right. This overdrive. Don't you think it's tragic that a lovely bird like me has such a burly ability? You agree, right? Well, whatever. Since this is the case, I'll fight up front during battle. Truth be told, I hate it, though. Camaraderie! Sweet. So we become more friends. Is there a way to see like what kind of weapons that she has? Like clearly this dude's a healer. And I feel like Yeah, we're gonna befriend him too. Hmm. His name is Sojiro Sagara. Oh my, you seem rather shaken up. You need to calm down a bit. Being hasty isn't the solution here. Huh? Do I seem shaken up? Well. Well, as it stands, I am a doctor. I'd love to calm you down, but in our current situation, I have my medic—I don't have my medication with me. Perhaps I can rely on my healing gift to do the trick, though. Apparently, his gift is healing, so that's good to know. All right now, we can talk to whoever in whatever order. Let's go talk to Hugh Jackman or George Jackman, as it were. <laughs> Konnichiwa, Yoroshiku. Sure, show. Damn. Uh, yes. I am George Jackman, the psychometrist of justice. Huh? Do you know what psychometry is, Sho? With it, I can see the residual thoughts that dwell within objects. For instance, I can read the leftover thoughts of this master katana and... Swing! <laughs> slice down evil like so. That is my mission for justice. C cool? Love the enthusiasm, bro, but calm your beard. That you don't have to. Any of them have a beard? Anyone? Beard? Beard? No beards? 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 Beard? 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 
Nope, no beards. All right, sorry. Uh, Himeno Aka... What is that? Akat, Akatsuki? Sure. I'm sure I'm butchering these absolutely horribly. What? Himeno at Akatsuki. Akatsuki. Sure. My ability? You just witnessed it, right? It's pyrokinesis. All this ability does is burn objects. It doesn't create anything new. Hmm. To think that this power would be useful in such a place. If it isn't close combat, I should be able to give off a considerable amount of thermal energy. I'll turn you into ash any day. Okay. Not cool. And then we have Toya Orbert. What's up, Toya? <laughs> oh, my gift. I have control over magnetic forces. I can lightly draw anything made of iron toward me. On the other hand, I can flick them off as well. I am able to control electromagnetism. Well, it's a little exhausting, but I can even manipulate the electricity in the atmosphere and create thunder. It'd be, it'd be chaos if word got around about my ability, so I kept it quiet until I got involved with the terrorist attacks. Creepy. Or cool, depending on how you look at it. Alright, let's see if we can't get through the remaining few things that we have here, and then we'll probably break it off. And, yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see when the next episode comes around. So we have, uh, what, five more people to talk to? Naga Shishi something. <laughs> Nagi Shishiuka. Uh, I had been serving in the army before joining Sealed. My ability is levitation. I can float in the air for a short period of time. That is all. Any other questions? It's fine. I have a general idea of your personality. Yes. I see. I'm glad that you seem reliable. Alright, Zenji Meida. <laughs> Can I trust you, you bastard? I'm Zenji. My ability lets me synchronize with others. It's hard to describe, but I can connect with someone else's mind. <laughs> it lets me read their thoughts and copy their abilities. I can't use it to find out who the traitor is, but let me just spell it out for you. You don't want to get on my bad side. Charming. Nice guy. like him. Marco Barbato. What is this? Or what is it? You want to get to know me? Are you just curious what I can do? I was added to this group because I have psychokinesis. Oh. But I'm not all that suited for f fighting, for a fight in a place like this. D do you still need something from me? Oh, well, he's definitely very confident in his abilities. Yoko Tachibana? Sure. What's up, Yoko? Yes. Hi, it's nice to meet you, uh, right? It seems you weren't sure there, but yes, it's nice to meet you, too. <laughs> yep, I'm relieved you're a normal person. R relieved? Earlier you were being glared at a lot by the, by the end, so I thought you were someone scary like a politician or a soldier. I myself don't have a clue what that was all about. Anyway, I'm surprised that you're such a normal girl. At the very least, you don't seem like the type to be in the special forces based on your appearance or tone. Is it your gift? Yes. Mm-hmm. I can use telepathy, although I don't like to use it much. You don't want to use it? Well, eh, who cares about that stuff? I'll use it during battle. I, I do need to support everyone. We don't want our lives to end here, anyway. That was weird. And with finality, Agito Yuki. Hey. Yo, so the end guy was really staring you down. You two know each other? What's the scoop? What's his no. deal? I have no clue, actually. You're a member of SEAL 2, right? Hey. You betcha. Agito Yuki at your service. They recruited me because of my teleportation. Teleportation, huh? Yep, it's my gift, they called it. Not sure when I got it or how, but just one day I noticed I was able to do it. It comes in handy. In battle, too, of course. Well, it's nice meeting you. When he said he'd launch those missiles in 13 days, I wonder if he was lying. This is a man who's destroyed half the planet. Let's not discount his threat so quick. In fact, it's probably safest we assume he's telling the truth about this. What worries me more is what he said about a traitor. Do you really think there's one among us? <laughs> 
say that as if you couldn't possibly be the traitor. Are you trying to claim that you're not the traitor then? That was not my intent. Huh. This is a circular discussion. Obviously, the traitor would not reveal his or her identity. Mm. The rational course is simple. Trust no one. So, there's an enemy among us? <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Whoever's the traitor, come clean. <laughs> Please stop it. How can we suspect our own teammates? I don't like this at all. I agree. So what if you don't like it? Are you fine with the traitor doing as they please and killing us all? That's not what I... I, I just... Enough. There's no need to phrase it that way. In any case, we have no way of determining that there's a traitor with certainty. It's fair. That's true. It could be a ruse he's using just to get under our skin. It's working. He's done a good job of getting to us so far. See? Regardless, we aren't making any progress by discussing this. Right. All we can do is move forward. So the best countermeasure for now is to keep an eye on one another, huh? Yeah. Even seems though to we're be. teammates? I'm against the whole notion. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care if you're all a bunch of traitors. I'm killing the end and saving the world. There you go. It'd be real funny if you were the traitor after saying all that. That's true too. What the hell did you say? Uh Can we stop this useless prattle? You're starting to give me a headache. Show's right. All we can do now is move forward. Does it matter if there's a traitor in our ranks? We're just a hastily made team anyway. I'd hardly consider any of you an ally. She's real chipper. We're nice trusting guy. Gathering of people with similar goals. Nothing more. Isn't that a little bleak? Yeah, a little bit. Everyone's growing suspicious of each other, but I suppose that can't be helped. Let's head out. We have a purpose to fulfill. We have to keep going. That's right. We have to accomplish this regardless if there's a traitor. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Traitors be darned. And our team is here. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that we're going to be able to do now. We're going to be able to look at like various different equipment stuff. And then we'll be able to choose another mission over at the gate. But so far, that's the game in a nutshell. We'll definitely come back to this fairly soon. And we'll get another couple of missions under our belts and see how the game plays. And see if there's interest in it. I think the game's fantastic. I was actually pleasantly surprised with it. So, definitely on my radar now. Definitely something I'm going to be playing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of the wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video as it always is. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, especially on the first video. It always helps tremendously in being able to be found on YouTube and all that stuff. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Bumpy McSquiggums. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the very next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>